हेलो द गाइस वेलकम टू डीनोज वॉल डीनो भाई इज बैक इन एक्शन पोस्ट रिकवरिंग फ्रॉम बीइंग कोविड पॉजिटिव गॉड्स ग्रेस एंड विद ऑल योर प्रेयर्स आई एम बैक इन एक्शन एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू केप्ट रिक्वेस्टिंग पल्सर 125 एनएस व्हिच हैज बीन अ सडन लॉन्च फ्रॉम बजाज वी डिडंट सी इट कमिंग बट एनीवे इट्स हियर सो व्हाट डज इट हैव ऑन ऑफर एंड व्हाट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ऑडियंस आर बजाज ट्राइंग टू टारगेट with this uh, motorcycle and all the details that you need to know as to what all features it packs and how it feels to ride that's exactly what i'm here to share and if you haven't subscribed to dino's world please do hit the subscribe button stay tuned for all the action right here at dino's world let's get started So here it is the Pulsar 120. Looks pretty good, pretty decent in matte red. So what does it have on offer? Well, not much of compromise here. You get the same wolf-eyed uh, headlamp, which uh, the 200 NS has been known for. They uh, went by the name Naked Wolves earlier, uh, but uh, it has that wolf-eyed uh, headlamp and animalistic feel to it. And uh, you have the sculpted tank. muscular feel to it which pulsar bloodline always stands for so glad they have offered the same perimeter frame uh, which is first in this segment 125 cc class never heard of a perimeter frame uh, in this at least in our market so that's really good in terms of handling in terms of high speed stability the perimeter frame really does its job really well apart from that uh, in terms of uh, suspension <coughs> you have slightly puny forks here maybe 33 mm or something uh but i think they'll do the job well being a 125 cc bike another good thing is that we get a kick starter along with the push button starter so that's always a added benefit to have a kick starter on board just in case the battery runs out power plant 125 cc single so talking about the power plant single cylinder air cooled four stroke EI engine is what they call it so i don't think it's fuel injected it is like an electronic uh, carb variant so electronic carbureted variant so that is the ploy behind this dtsi digital twin spark ignition so we have twin spark plug setup when compared to a single spark plug setup seen in other motorcycles in this category so twin spark plug setup offers faster combustion rate which results in perfect blend of power and economy so that's been a strong point of the pulsar bloodline right from its word go and uh, you have some carbon fiber cues uh, here on the rear fender as well as on the front fender so the kind of uh, value they're packing in with the design package it's pretty uh, premium uh, for its price tag here in hyderabad it's around 95000 rupees ex showroom uh, so to know the exact price in your uh, city you can visit your nearest bajaj dealer tires are also you get ca tires uh, which is pretty decent Uh, for the kind of performance this bike has on offer easy to replace i mean easy replacement cost and will offer good uh, tire uh, life if you are going to use it predominantly in the city <coughs> now the uh, area where this pulsar ns125 shines is it gives you a glimpse of what sport bike culture has on offer with the perimeter frame and uh, with the monoshock the gas charge nitrox monoshock at the back which offers plush ride quality and further adds on to the handling characteristics of the bike and also you have this uh, box section swing arm and uh, you have the same uh, <coughs> well placed uh, uh, underbelly exhaust to aid in mass centralization concept so overall handling package is like that of a typical sport bike so something that you can take to a track and enjoy maybe you can't push it to sharper lean angles but you can enjoy or get a hang of uh, what kind of sport bike experience this has on offer so that is what that is the kind of audience bajaj is targeting the masses uh, to for them to get a taste of sport bike culture and what kind of difference does uh, this equipment make in offering a thrilling riding experience which is what they are trying to underscore with this motorcycle here you have the twin uh, led lamp setup and i think you get clearance indicators here but the seat quality everything screams quality so that is something you can appreciate in this price point they have not compromised anywhere textured pattern seat to prevent the rider from sliding forward 
and it's slightly tapered up so tank recesses to slot your thighs in good quality tank pad everything is identical to that of the 200 ns even the fit and finish paint quality is of very good quality <coughs> speedo console remains the same as that of the 200 ns <coughs> fuel gauge tachometer speedo console i mean speedometer backlit switches high beam flasher engine kill switch and electric starter al along with a kick starter so overall i feel very good value for money package and good pricing uh, uh, by bajaj as usual and uh, this is not liquid cooled it is air cooled but uh, you have good quality engine cowl here center stand as well included so overall i feel this is a good looking motorcycle and a smart move and i think it's going to do well because it's going to offer better mileage easy to maintain uh, pocket friendly maintenance but the overall form factor of a 200 ns which is what a lot of people or college students might be craving for so this concludes my overview of this motorcycle you get a 240 mm petal disc up front and a drum brake at the back now this is not abs you don't get single channel abs i think you get cbs which is combi brake system you can see this so when you apply this brake the rear brake is automatically engaged such that uh, the stopping distance is reduced and the overall braking mechanism is much more safer now bajaj calls this anti skid braking technology which is not true because the wheels will lock up when you brake uh, hard i mean in case of panic braking scenarios because it doesn't have abs which is anti lock braking system so this is they call anti skid but it is actually another name for combi brake system which means uh, when you apply the front brake the rear brake is applied automatically which kind of works okay uh by reducing the overall stopping distance but it does not mean that the wheels will not lock up so be careful while using the uh, brakes and uh, always maintain reduced speed such that you can control the bike know your limits and know your bike's limits so that's the overview about this motorcycle <coughs> tank is a 12 liter tank and we don't get led headlamp yet it's still a halogen so overall what do you guys think about this red color uh Pulsar 125 NS do you think uh, it was needed to be launched it was necessary to be launched did you like the concept did you like the bike as a whole good that they have uh, uh, you know done away with that white wheels and that white frame which was looking pathetic on the 200 NS i hope they revert to the uh, similar kind of a scheme paint scheme for the 200 as well uh, this looks a lot more sportier and more attractive more striking in my personal opinion what do you guys think did you like the paint scheme did you like the design did you like the concept overall that feel free to comment below now i'll be taking the bike out for a ride and telling you how it feels to ride so guys now that i've given you a quick overview about the pulsar 125 ns let's see what it is truly made up of does it have a slightly sporty riding feel or is it all mellow let's find out the equipment um promises a lot of uh, thrill riding experience so let's hope it lives up to the expectations wow immediately very refined and uh, the suspension setup kind of gives you a lot of confidence Yes, uh, it has that uh, rev me harder kind of a feel, but it is being a 125 cc power plant. You don't have that instant surge. It's all a little laid back and little more composed. Oh, it sounds really good. Really sounds good and promising. Let's see if we can find our way through this traffic. It feels so good to be back on the roads riding back on my riding boots. Just take a U-turn here. on the throttle the bike does uh portray the sporty character lurking underneath 
This is kind of a bottleneck, you can't really break free here, that is the problem. But agility and maneuverability is so easy. Seating comfort is very good, the riding ergonomics is spot on. And you can overtake at will. The handlebar, everything is so premium for this price point, man. Uh, they have uh, really made a statement here, Bajaj. Uh, they are known for making value for money products, there's no doubt about that. But uh, almost the same equipment and same package, just minus the uh, slightly more powerful power plant. So, the, giving it, giving the current uh, price hikes. Getting anything under 1 lakh is pretty impressive. It's 95,000 bucks uh, egg showroom here in Hyderabad. Uh, very good. Very impressive. The brakes are also pretty good. Yes, the combi brake seems to work. Really sporty, <laughs> really, really sporty and throaty acceleration by this sweet little pocket rocket, you can call it. This mass centralization of the underbelly exhaust. And the nitrox shovels over the perimeter frame makes world of difference in this segment kind of handling is brilliant whoa and it looks really good with this gunmetal gray accents instead of the white accents that the 200ns comes with uh, and the refinement is great not even a single you know any hint of vibration even when you're revving it all the way up to the red line really really good wow so clean acceleration but as i've always uh, kind of uh, mastered the DTSI technology so they fine-tuned their engines to the max so the, uh, those vibrations were never an issue in their uh, lineup so that continues to be the case wow. the seating comfort suspension the chassis all together makes you feel you're riding a premium motorcycle tires do a good job as well uh, offering good road grip so that's pretty much it overall the short ride uh, makes me feel uh, that this is a good value package for those who want the form factor of the 200NS, the legendary 200NS and uh, a pocket friendly maintenance, low price tag, this is the machine for you. So thanks to Varun Bajaj for always supporting my vision. The first review post my recovery from COVID is successfully completed. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, God bless and ride safe. and. Here is Varun Bajaj Chandanaga for you. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. God bless and ride safe.